Hey guys, um, I thought I'd bring you guys along today because some of you guys like seeing this stuff. We are going to be trying to figure out why this white 5.0 is running lean. And I thought I would start while the engine was cold with a basic smoke machine test. So this is what that looks like. This is the Smoke Pro smoke machine used for evap leak testing mostly, but uh, works great for testing vacuum leaks. And so you hook that up through a vacuum line to whatever kind of vacuum port you can find. In this case, I hooked it up to the line that used to go to this FMU for the supercharged car. And you basically use low PSI compressed air to pump smoke into the uh, intake manifold. And it always kind of comes out the air filter. So the first thing I want to kind of do is make sure that it, the intake is totally full. And it is because it's now made its way out the air filter. And then you just start looking around at all the obvious things, which are almost all in the upper intake manifold area. Just look for any signs of smoke coming out anywhere but this air filter. So um, some particular spots that are of interest are the intake manifold gaskets and the injector O-rings. So we kind of try to look at the base of each injector. It, it probably won't come out on film. <laughs> Kill it with fire. It probably won't come out on film because you're, uh, the, the smoke is, 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 even a lot of it, it's very hard to kind of see, but you just uh, have to take my word for it, I suppose, but there's no smoke coming out of this thing anywhere. But um, the intake manifold gaskets are a prime suspect when you got a lean condition. Maybe the injector O-rings, all of the vacuum lines and the vacuum trees like this guy. Uh, the brake booster inside the car and out. I already checked the inside and outside there is nothing. Um, sometimes on the back of the intake you can find some fittings and stuff. There are, you probably can't see them in the film, but there are a couple of fittings back there that could be leaking. These old five liters had quite a few vacuum lines. And then there's the one over here for the, I think it's for the AC canister, the vacuum reservoir. And then down in the fender, there's a vacuum reservoir that we can't see anyway, but it would be like, I don't know, just above the wheel. And also there is a charcoal can down here underneath the supercharger. That's him down there. The lines to the charcoal cans are always a little bit suspect. They rot out a lot because of fuel vapors coming from the tank. Kind of deteriorate the lines quicker than on some of the other lines. I don't see nothing. Make sure my smoke machine's still on. There it is. Smoke's still coming out of the filter. There it is. Um, the biggest risk for vacuum leaks would be the intake tubing, uh, especially on this piece of junk tubing. This thing has got a old school Powerdyne blower and they use like uh, rubber dryer pipe or whatever to connect the blower to the mass air meter. So that's a really highly suspect area for leaking. Get you a shot of that. But... You can see the deterioration in this hose, like where the, I don't know if you can see that, where the rubber's ripped and the metal starting to poke out from the hose. So just by the looks of it, this hose needs to be replaced, but I don't actually see it leaking anywhere. And there's vacuum lines to. <laughs> to the air pump solenoids. Yes, this car actually has air pump solenoids still on it, which is amazing. I don't think I've seen a 5 liter in 20 years that still had an air pump. And to the tons of vacuum lines going to the EGR vacuum regulator, that's this guy. And to the EGR sol uh, air pump solenoids, which are these two guys down here. There's a ton of vacuum lines down there that could go. None of them appear to be leaking. 
And then there's these huge, goofy old vacuum fittings. Oh, and uh, this one's actually quite visible, but it's often easy to overlook this one. The bottom side of the EGR valve, the diaphragm, if it's got a little tear in it, or if the valve stem has too much wear in it, it can smoke out the bottom of the valve. Billy says this car's like a time warp. That is absolutely true. It looks like this thing got a supercharger when it was a brand new car, and it hasn't been touched since. So it's got all the cool old school glory, like a non-intercooled setup, um, internally belt-driven supercharger, so it doesn't have gears with direct drive, it's just got a belt inside that can break. It's got the old school FMU, which takes about 40 pounds of fuel pressure and turns it into like 100. Um, this one has the added benefit of having a ProFlow calibrated MAF and a small cone filter which is way too small in my opinion for this application, but what else are you gonna do? Because even to get this tiny filter in there, the guy had to do some cutting. And I recommended he do a lot more cutting. And I don't, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it in here, but if you sneak down, you can see down in that hole, the corrugated pipe that somebody has added. And that starts life down here with this cool homemade Ram Air kit. Made out of literally sewer pipe. So whatever. So I think that's all I can show you for vacuum lines. I can show you what they, you know, the smoke coming off this filter. That's what you would see, hopefully, if you saw a vacuum leak, it'd look something like that. Just a little white wisp. Sometimes you got to use a flashlight or um, dark light or something that reflects the smoke a little bit. But in this case, this car is actually really good. I don't see the first sign of any vacuum line leaks or, or intake leaks anywhere. So I'm kind of surprised by that. These old school cars usually are ripe for leaks. I do see some pretty rotten vacuum lines like that guy right there. He's, he's dry rotted and nasty. Usually they kind of seep through lines like that. But uh, I don't think you guys can see down in there without some extra light, but I'm peeking under every single area that I can looking for smoke to come out. And as far as I know, this is the best test for finding vacuum leaks. Um, some of the newer cars, the data is pretty useful to show you what's happening with these older cars. It's not very easy to get into the OBD data. So... Um, we're not going to do that, at least not at this stage of the game. I'm going to do the traditional stuff first. And uh, this one passes the smoke test. I don't see anything leaking, amazingly enough. So I'm going to end this short video. And if you guys feel like hanging out with me a little bit, I'm going to keep doing tests on this car. A lot of the ones coming up are going to be scope testing. We're going to be checking for uh, injector flow, fuel pressure drop, um, relative compression, and a bunch of other cool scope tricks. So check back with me. Talk to you soon.